We're good. I feel like your we're phone's good. falling out. No, 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 we're good. <laughs> well, it is. It's actually falling out. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's good. It's good. Everything's good. Cool. Okay. 3.4 extremes. <laughs> Last lesson of the chapter. This is the easiest one. <laughs> it's really quick. We're looking at y values today, not x values. The extremes of functions. <coughs> And that word function, just think about it as a graph, so the extremes of a graph. In the next chapter, we'll talk about another way to look at that as well. There's two things we're looking for today, maximum and minimum. Maximum and minimum. And right beside that, I'll just kind of write down the easy so I don't think about what this is. Maximum is the biggest y value. Minimum is the smallest y value. <coughs> the word value just means number, so you're looking for the biggest and smallest y and uh, the numbers for the y's. Which is related to range, but it's not exactly the same thing. So I'm going to put a little note here saying must be inclusion points, which means if it's an arrow, that's not an inclusion point, or if it's an exclusion point, it's not an inclusion point, so that'll change how we write our answer. We can take care of this in maybe three examples, and then I'll be it. Describe the extremes. Remember at the beginning of the year I mentioned that I took out a lot of the extra fluff? And this is only th uh, four lessons long. I used to teach this in seven lessons, this chapter. Wait, so there was more? There's more, yeah. Really? So, like, I feel like every other chapter that we've done, there, there's more stuff. It's crazy. Kind of, I thought this was so much. Stripped out all the extra stuff. And just kind of boil it down to the absolute minimum basic stuff that we need to know. The bomb. <laughs> What's that? Nothing to fill our examples. They yeah. ask us something they didn't teach us. Oh, no, no, we'll be fine. We'll be yeah, no, I'm just joking. The, the only drawback is if you have plans on doing advanced math next year, like advanced grade 10 math, um, then yeah, there's a bit of a drawback there, but it's still doable if you're, if you're willing to do that. Okay, right here, this is the highest point right here, which means this is going to be our maximum, and this is going to be our minimum, or at least that's how we're going to get it. So, to answer the question, we'll just write math and min. Instead of writing the word maximum minimum, just short form to maximum minimum. Again, please don't short form it more than that. When you start short forming it more and more, you don't really know what you're writing. So to prove a point here, it's the y values we're looking at. We're not looking at domain. We're not looking at this from left to right. There's no skier. There's no shark or anything. It's the y values we care about. So don't do this in your notes, but I'm just going to do this on the board because I can easily. I don't really care about the x values here. I just care about the y values. So the maximum is the largest y value is positive five. Is good? Yeah. Are we good? Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. It's recording. Carter's being uh, back. Why does it zoom? <laughs> it zoomed it all. Yeah, so it zoomed no, but, but you could you could see the lessons. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's just your face the whole time. <laughs> 
you zoom in my pores. So max is five here, the minimum. Now normally we would say negative two. Now if it was range, we would say negative two exclusion. But I made a little note there saying must be inclusion points. That's clearly not an inclusion point, it's a hollow point. So we're actually gonna write NA. No answer. It's not applicable. Oh. Technically there is no minimum here. Now if you want to say, but sir, it is negative two, you just have to kind of write negative two with like a this around it. But that doesn't make any sense. So we write NA. Number two. Wait, sir, but if it was like if it was filled in. Yeah, then if it's filled in, then we're good to go. Yeah. Number two? You did it the other way. <laughs> What's that? Hmm? Oh, you put the two of dots? Oh, it's gonna separate the desk. Yeah. Say so this point is negative four, negative three. When you write it down, just draw the curve as best as you can. It doesn't have to be crazy accurate. The point on the bottom does need to be there, negative four, negative three. That's a filled in point. There's some kind of turbulence going upwards with an arrowhead on the end. So we're looking again for two things. When we talk about extremes, it's max but minimum. Let's start with the minimum first. I think we can see right here, the minimum is the lowest y value, and there's nothing lower than negative three, so negative three your minimum. Wait, sir. Yeah. How do you know if that's the minimum? The lowest point on the graph? There's nothing lower than that. Oh. Right? Like the graph kind of starts from there. Okay. And it kind of goes up from there. There's nothing else lower, so that has to be the middle of the lowest point. <laughs> so for the max, would it be an A or yeah. would it be positive? Okay. That's it. So when you look at this, if you were to write range here, you would say, okay, the highest point is positive infinity and you exclude it. But the note that I just erased earlier said, well, if it's an exclusion, then forget about it. It has to be an inclusion for this to work. So don't write positive infinity. That's actually wrong. It's NA. So infinities are not considered maximum. <coughs> Harriet? If it was both points were like inclusion points, would they just be the range? Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the answer you would get would be very similar to the range. Yeah. It's just how you write it would be different. We'll finish with our last one, our last example. Number three. We'll change this up ever so slightly. What? Um, let's say this point here is negative five, positive two. This point right here is negative one, negative three. This point is positive two, positive four, and this point is positive five, positive four. So some kind of zigzag. I've given you more information than you actually need, but that's on purpose, so that we can focus on what we're trying to answer here. <coughs> so again, extremes are two things. We're looking for two things here. Yes, we can combine this with domain and range and increasing and decreasing and positive and negative. Let's talk about this right now. Okay. The point that's starting over here, negative five and two, you would absolutely need to use that for domain if you were reading this from left to right. This point that you're finishing with, five and one, yeah, you would absolutely need that if you're doing domain reading from left to right. But we're not looking at that. In fact, these points right here have nothing to do with what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today, the maximum and the minimum, is still right there. That's the lowest point, that's the minimum. There's the highest point, that's the maximum. So these endpoints, sure they're on the end, but they're not the lowest or the highest points because it goes lower and it goes higher than that. Now, the next concern is, well, it's just a corner. There's no actual point there. I haven't given you exclusion, exclusion, arrowhead. Well, we talked about this the other day, last week. Yeah. Dylan? It's, you know, it's like it's always going to be inclusion points. Yeah. If you see a line, a line is really a whole bunch of inclusion points smashed together. So that is inclusion. Our maximum would be the largest y value, which is positive 4 right there. 
our minimum would be the lowest y value, which is negative three right there. That's it. Oh. Done the chapter. Thank you.